Good morning, grade 5. Welcome to our English class. Grade 5. What are these words? Where do you use them? Are you familiar with them? Alright, so later on in our discussion, we will talk about these words and their uses. Okay? So now, our lesson first is about conjunction. I know you have a little bit of idea about this topic because we discussed some of it some or some of its uses in our previous lesson, right? So what is the meaning of a conjunction or conjunctions? Conjunctions are words used to link phrases and clauses. They are necessary to create compound sentence or to join multiple ideas together. A conjunction is a joiner or a connector, a word that connects or conjoins parts of a sentence. So, we have grammar rules in using coordinating conjunctions. So, coordinating conjunctions connect two independent parts of a sentence. Remember, clauses of equal value are called independent clauses. And it can stand on their own separate sentence. So, are you familiar with fanboys? I'm sure you are because we talk about or we discuss about fanboys um, during our live discussion or pre-recorded last time, right? So, again, fanboys, they are coordinating conjunctions. We have for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. Alright, so, first grammar rule if fanboys connect two words or phrases, remember, you do not use a comma. For example, the office party will feature cupcakes and lobster. So, as you see, we have two words, right? First one, cupcakes. Second one, lobster. So, you do not need to add a comma if you want to connect the two. Alright? Next one. Grammar rule, another grammar rule, do not use a comma. This time around, do not use a comma if fun voice connect to verb phrases. Okay, example, we can either order lobster or stay within our budget. So as you see, we have the underlined word or verb order and stay. So you connect the two, right? By adding a coordinating conjunction or. So in this time around, again, do not or you do not need to add a comma. Okay? So in this rule, if fanboys connect items in a series, remember to use or add commas between each item. So, as you see, example, the accounting department will probably recommend cupcakes, celery, sticks, and water. So, how many words are those? Four, right? So, you remember if they are series of items or more than two, you really have to put comma after the word, alright? In dividing or separating these items, we will use comma in separating them, okay? Example, John is running in this race and... I am carrying his water bottle. So, this type of example, they use as independent clause. So, what is independent clause? We studied that last time, right? Independent clause or independent, they can stand alone. It is a complete sentence, right? So, it is most effective when it is used to create a sense of balance or contrast between two or more 
equally important pieces of information. So as you see, each clause, they can stand alone because they are independent clause, right? And you add and to connect them or to combine them, okay? So again, remember, we learn about fanboys for and nor, but, or, yet, and so, okay? So now, let's proceed with subordinating conjunctions. So using a subordinating conjunction, they join these or they join two sentences, okay? So what is subordinating conjunctions? Subordinating conjunction used to join an independent and complete clause with a dependent clause that relies on the main clause for meaning and relevance. It comes before the dependent clause, but the dependent clause itself can be placed either ahead of or following the independent clause. So remember, when we say independent clause, this can stand alone, right? Or they have a complete thought. While on the other hand, dependent clause doesn't have a complete thought and also it cannot stand alone. Remember, a dependent clause begins with a subordinating conjunction. All right. Here are some examples or list of co conjunction, subordinating conjunctions. After, example, soon after moving to London, she got a new job, right? So, as you see, use of after is in the first clause, right? So, another one, he decided to go, comma, although I beg him not to. As you see, the use of subordinating conjunction, although, is in the second um, clause, so, it became a subordinate, a dependent clause, okay? Next one, as, you can go first as you are the oldest, right? So, it's in the middle again or in the second clause. Next, as soon as I saw her, I knew there was something wrong, okay? So, as you see, you see a comma because... The subordinating conjunction is start the sentence. So, later on, we will discuss the use and the grammar rules on how to use the subordinating conjunction. Okay? Example, since I will not be home, Tina will answer the phone. You can see here there is a comma, right? So, because since... I will not be home is a dependent clause. Meaning to say, um, it doesn't make sense by itself. So, it is dependent on the rest of the sentence for it to have its meaning. So, you see, Tina will answer the phone is a complete sentence or a indep an independent clause. It can stand alone. It has a thought. On the other hand, since I will not be home, it's an incomplete sentence. You can also see the use of subordinating conjunction since and it starts the sentence. That's why or that is why you add a comma after that dependent clause. All right. So here are some of example using subordinating conjunction. He reads the newspapers after he finishes work. So, remember grade 5. When you start your sentence with a subordinating conjunction, always put a comma after a dependent clause and followed by an independent clause. Alright? So, he reads the newspaper is your independent clause. After he finishes work is a dependent clause, all right? Even if you get the best grade in the writing test, you will need to pass an oral test. As you see, even if is a subordinating conjunction, so you add it to the clause, it became a, in the, a dependent clause. 
that is why you put a comma after the dependent clause. And you will need to pass an oral exam. Oral test is your independent clause, which it can stand alone without this dependent clause or first sentence. All right. Second, uh, third example. Although he is very old, he goes jogging every morning. Again, although is a subordinating conjunction, and although is he is very old is a dependent clause. That is why we put comma because it starts with a subordinating conjunction and it starts the sentence. Comma, he goes jogging every morning is an independent clause or it can stand by itself and it has a thought. She didn't go to school because she was sick. So as you see, there is no comma. Why? Because um, you can see the independent clauses came first in the sentence. She didn't go to school. It's a complete sentence and it has a thought. On the, on the other hand, because she was sick is a dependent clause. It starts with because. So you see, you do not need to put comma if you do not start your sentence with a dependent clause. Okay? So that would be all for today about conjunction. So we learn about coordinating conjunctions and its uses and subordinating conjunctions. Okay, so I hope you've learned a lot today and I'll see you again in our next class. Have a safe day. God bless grade 5. Bye.